My name is Hero, and here is my story. It all started one morning on my way to work. I was lying in my bed. I just woke up and I was doing some light stretches. I sleepily look at the alarm clock. The digital alarm read 8.15 a.m. I jolt out from my bed, just realizing I'm seriously late for work, so I take a taxi. As I look out the window of the taxi and see the city whiz by, my thoughts go to Akame, my girlfriend of four years. Akame was a fitness instructor who took gym sessions for her older clients at the city center every weekday. She must have gotten up early to make her morning session. On that fateful morning, my taxi driver took a route that passed the city center building. Perhaps, if he didn't, I wouldn't have seen what started this whole drama. Perhaps, if I had just woken up early and took the train like I'd done every other morning, I'd be having a nice time now, but I did see, and that moment changed everything. It had seemed to happen so fast. One moment we were approaching the city center, and I was taking in the breathtaking view of the city. The next, I was seeing her, Akame, my lovely and beautiful girlfriend. Kame, standing outside of the building with a very tall and handsome man. It was the way they were standing, so close to each other. There was something intimate about it that, at the moment, seemed as sinful as blasphemy. Akame's eyes were sparkling as she was laughing at something the tall man had said. I looked on, at first surprised, but then enraged. And I just continued to look at their direction, even after they got out of my view. At that moment, I felt a bitterness rise up from the depths of my stomach. I felt it go up my gut and settle in my tongue. My girlfriend of four long years, Akame Mitsubishi, was cheating on me. We were eating dinner at the dining table. Sitting opposite each other, Akame appeared to be chatting excitedly about her day, although her actual words are droned out because she notices me being deep in thought. Much as I tried, I couldn't get the thought out of my head. All I could think about was her radiance as she laughed <laughs> with him. Her laughter had been so true and so free. I couldn't remember when she last laughed at something I said in that way. To be honest, we didn't laugh a lot anymore. She had laughed because of that man. That man. The thought of him alone was what was troubling me. I couldn't bear to think that she was cheating, and yet pretending to be in love with me. Maybe she loved both of us. I couldn't share Akame with another man. No. We'd been through so much, and I loved her too much. I was unconsciously squeezing my wine glass then with so much power that it suddenly burst from the pressure, sending shards of glass into my palm. <sighs> what the? Hiro, are you okay? Uh, I'm, I'm fine. I was just lost in thought. I wince as I pick the shards that had pierced my palm. Akame grabbed my hand and she tried to help me. What are you thinking about? Are you sure you're okay? You've been really off since you got back from work. I'm fine. I'm just thinking about the things I've got to take care of. I had to find out who he was. I had to know the name of my girlfriend's other man. 
At midnight, I wake up and touch Akame to see if she's still awake. She, however, doesn't budge. Stealthily, I stretch over her and reach for her phone. I input her password and begin to go through her messages. I search for a while, but find nothing. I had to think about what I was doing. Of course, she was not going to leave her messages with another man in plain view for me to see. I'd have to approach the problem from another perspective. His perspective. Next day, I'm standing across the building, waiting for the tall man I've seen with Akame the other day. I'm on a bench, pretending to read a newspaper, while waiting for that man to show up. At that time, it felt like it was a good idea to confront this man. I just couldn't bear the thought of them together. I couldn't think of anything else. The tall man exits the building with an elderly woman by his side. I cross the street and I walk towards him. Hey man, can I help you sir? What are you doing with my girlfriend? Sorry? What are you talking about? Don't even do that. Don't bother playing dumb. I saw you two yesterday, all giggly and lovey-dovey. I don't know what you're talking about. If you don't mind, I'd like to take my grandmother home. She shouldn't be standing for too long outside. You think you're so smooth, don't you? Look, man, I really don't know you, and I don't have a clue what you are going on about. I'll take my leave now, and if you don't want any trouble, don't attempt to stop me. Again, he tries to leave. Again, I stop him. Just as we're about to get into it, Akame comes out of the building. She sees what's going on and makes an attempt to stop the fight. What is going on here? Hello? Uh, Mr. Yoshida? You know this man, Akame? He just attacked me, claiming I'm having something with his girlfriend, and he won't even let me be on my way. What? Hiro? What's going on? Come on, don't pretend. I saw you guys yesterday when I was on my way to work. I know you are cheating on me. I saw you guys standing out there, laughing. Right there. Hiro, what on earth are you talking about? This is Mr. Yoshida. He's the grandson of one of my clients, Mr. Sakamoto. He was here yesterday to pick up her favorite sweater, which she had forgotten. I... I know what I saw. You guys were laughing and being all cute. Can you hear yourself? Have you lost your mind, hero? You've literally accosted a stranger because I was laughing with him? How is that okay? Mr. Yoshida, I'm really sorry for everything. I don't know what has gotten into my boyfriend. It's all right. We'll be on our way now. It's certainly getting too cold for Grandma. Now, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> yes, please. See you tomorrow, Mr. Sakamoto. Hiro, what you've just done is not okay. And I'm very disappointed and sad about it. And so, Akame just walked away. After that little incident, I tried my best to be a good boyfriend and not screw things up any more than they already have. But in the end, it just didn't work out, and we ended things eventually. Interestingly, Akame started seeing that Mr. Yoshida after we broke up. They may not have known it at the time, but it turns out I had a cause to be jealous. I'd seen the spark between them even before they did. And as for me, 
I'm fine. Just ticking things slowly, trying not to jump into anything, jump to any conclusions. I, I'd learned that the hard way.